So I think about the idea of what an entertainer is as opposed to what it's not. When people think of entertainment, they think of stuff that's supposed to be fun and interesting. Look at a movie, it's it's just entertainment, it's just a movie, it's just a song, it's just a show, it's just a game. But really what entertainment truly is, it's something that's meant to entertain certain thoughts. We think about it, and I got this from Elliot Hulse many moons ago, where... He was doing this pep talk in New York. I wasn't there for the event, but I saw the video on an email he sent. And he basically said, it's all about having people entertain and make certain thoughts. And I look at a lot of the YouTube channels that I recommend, and most of them are that. They're entertainers. They help question certain thoughts and really I guess that's what you can say you can say that that's what I am I myself am an entertainer my videos may not be that very you know fun to look at seeing my crackhead ass face not that I'm a crackhead but I might as well be with this fucking face or see me rant like a drunkard. Sound like a f total fucking geek. But that's how it is. That's what I do. I entertain certain thoughts. I'm pretty sure that when I try to sound relatable to you guys and I pull you in and I mention these anxieties you might have and connect it to political problems that are increasingly growing within our nation, within our organic body and collective, I'm pretty sure that you're going to pick up on that and entertain those thoughts. Unless you don't understand what the fuck I'm talking about when I make these videos and if that's the case, then I feel bad for you, son, because I got 99 problems and a dipshit ain't one. But I don't even fucking like Jay-Z, so why the fuck did I say that? But, no, really, that's kind of what I am. I'm an entertainer. I like a lot of entertainers. No, we don't sing and dance on our videos, but we probably should. And I like to contrast this with education, which you don't get a lot of that on YouTube. A few educators I know of, some of what they say might piss off people in the right because that's kind of what an educator does. He goes on a full scope. He installs this knowledge and that knowledge, and sometimes in that education process, he does install a little entertainment. Maybe they're not entertaining the right thoughts. Maybe sometimes they entertain something that they really haven't fully fleshed out, and it's going to cause further confusion and move away from what we're trying to entertain. We, the right swing, of course. And that's really problematic. I honestly feel like there should be more educators that know what thoughts to entertain. Because you can't just be one. you got to be like 80-20 at least, or 90-10. I would never see 100% education, not even in a Wikipedia article. You're going to see a bias in what you're going to entertain as a thought, as a perspective, as a thesis, as a, as a concept, as opposed to what I do where 
I can't be one hundred percent entertainer. I can't just throw in thoughts that you already know, but you haven't fully looked at because you don't want to look at them or you haven't had a chance to look at it. And without teaching you something that you didn't know, like if I tried explaining to you, hmm, entertaining the thought that maybe racial integration thing I talk about isn't really a good idea all the time. Or at all, actually. <laughs> Uh, and I can't really tell you that if I felt like teaching you something, differences between Malcolm X in the beginning, the Nation of Islam, and towards the end, what his goals were. For a second, it sounded like a video skipped a little because of that thing that was going to come out of my mouth, that unknown Freudian slip. But you guys will never know what was in my subconscious at the time, and neither will I. I can't go on and explain that maybe in the South, white people were actually lynched, too. In fact, one would argue that it's a larger percentage. Uh, and that's probably going to get my account suspended, like what Fringe Elements did with his educational channel of the Southern Poverty Law Center back in 2011. That channel lasted a few months Maybe even a few weeks before it got deleted into shit river. <sighs> That's how it happens. I go on and I say some crazy shit. And I bring up some stuff that you've never thought of before. But it's not really completely factual. There's no data in what I say. So I can't call myself a relevant educator. Because that's all I am. And mostly an entertainer and all that I educate upon is superficial it comes with a fall I can't just do 100% entertainment I can't talk about the faults of Keynesian economics uh, broken window fallacy housing crisis and even the faults of Austrian economics and they've been called a chicken little organization or school of thought for a reason but they call that something that would make me a wordy educator would be nonsense. That's all I am, an entertainer. And all the stuff that I do is entertainment with a little stuff that you maybe didn't know about before. But I don't educate enough so that you can entertain these thoughts and have the knowledge to defend these thoughts. It's kind of what I disliked about being in the anarchist libertarian group and ground for like 2008 all the way to 2012. The problem is that a lot of those guys look for videos that educate them, that help them make facts and Theses and positions and arguments and fallacies that can help them prove their point to be correct. Education, so much education, but they never really entertain the thoughts, and that's kind of what I wanted to do. I wanted to look for thoughts to entertain, to make these anarchists and libertarians question even more and go into zones in their minds they never reached before, that where they notice stuff and knew stuff, but they never really fully explored it. That's what I wanted to be, and there wasn't that much of a demand for it. That's why it took me so long to reach the triple digits and subs, but how long has it been? I reached triple digits in 2012. My account was set up in 2007 midway, so it took about five years. Some would argue that that's pathetic, but oh well. You know, that's life. This YouTube shit isn't for everyone. It's definitely for me. But YouTube fame and being a stealth bot or fringe elements in terms of five digit subs, that's probably never gonna happen for me. Granted, I'm not gonna say that because 
You make your own limitations. My goal has always been to recruit talent on YouTube, to promote other guys, to make other guys look good. Whether it's from the anarchist zone or even the far alternative right. I'm always looking for brilliant minds and trying to get people to subscribe to them so that they can grow from it. And I'm proud of my subscriber list because it may not be a large list, but you've got brilliant people there. You've got geniuses. I'd rather have that than nobody stalkers and flamers and fucking girls showing their titties. I only have three to four female subs. Only one of them subscribed to me because of my views. And I'm damn proud that that person subscribed to me. Even though I don't really know them at all. Never saw a video of them. But okay. Who cares? I'm not trying to get laid. I'm trying to get you to think about things that a lot of people don't want you to think about. And if you can understand what I'm saying, then you're probably brilliant enough to entertain these thoughts and have a use for that and grow. So this is Mr. Marcus 7 and suck my dick. Ha <laughs> ha.